everyone and welcome back to a second part of this Let's Try Mecha Bell. It wasn't originally my plan to do a second part of this but you guys seem to really like it and um, I have been really enjoying it in my spare time. I'm still probably the least competitive person on the planet so I've just been enjoying playing the practice. I'm doing it on the insane difficulty now. And let's jump to a different map just for the funsies and let's uh, jump in and play some of it. I also was wanting something nice, light and easy because I've had quite a busy period for a while so this feels very nice and easy and what I've often been using this game as is a little way uh, if I've got a spare half hour and I don't know what I want to do I don't want to start up anything big and it takes a while this has been great for jumping on and just playing those little quick games right I'm not too keen on the fangs but phoenixes are okay and I like money I'm a greedy sod so extra money is the way Right, he starts off with me. They'll be good against my fangs, and they'll be good against my air. And I don't see... Now here's the thing. What is he going to buy with his spare money? If I was him, I'd probably... He may buy crawlers, in which case I'd tear... He's already got stuff good against them. If he does go for crawlers or fangs... These guys would probably be our best bet to give us something to card counter them. But for what he's got here, we're going to have to go for what he's got there. The snipers will probably be best. Let's get ourselves two snipers. And he doesn't have AoE, so I don't need to worry about that. Let's start off with some fangs here. You know what I've seen? I don't like fangs. I think fangs can be a very powerful unit, but I think they need... They need a little bit of care. They can't be strong from the start. They can get ca a wee bit carried away if you let them keep on going. Kind of like these guys as well. If you let enemies invest, they're good at the start. And if you let enemies invest a lot in them, they can get insanely strong. I'm going to leave a wee bit of room there in case I want to put something like arc lights or tanks there. All right. Let's see what goes on. What did they buy? No, I knew they'd get them. Oh, that's really bad for me because I don't have stuff for numbers. But if I can take out these guys, I don't think I'm. No, I'm not going to be able to take them out. And then uh, he's yeah, so he'll kill these. I think he's one. If we could kill him, we win. Oh, we've got time. We might win because we destroyed this. Oh, actually, I think we do win, because he's going to stay in that long, and we killed all these. Yeah, I think we've won. This is going to be a problem, though. Because if we kill him, we've won, because they've got nothing they can attack here. Yeah, and he's attacking them, so that's okay. Got him. He's just got his one little dweeby thing there. Good! We're off to a good start. Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter who wins at this point. It's not like it gives you extra money. To spend in the next round. Right. I like shields, so maybe we want to invest in shields later. Remember, mate, we've got an upgrade for shields to invest in later. Oh, he's got the extra money, but his units are weaker. Alright, we need to keep that in mind. You know what I think we're going to go for is some of these bad boys to counter these crawlers that he's going to have. And I think we're going to put... Get both of them. And you know what I think we're going to go for the third unit this round. Which we'll get another one. And we're going to increase the health of everyone by 15%. There. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes heavier into crawlers because they were the things that did best from last game. So if he does last round, so if he does invest heavy into crawlers, these guys will tear them to shreds. He walls his new stuff he got. I actually don't see any new stuff. I think he just got upgrades. Which is good. I hate that poison too. But you can see they're tearing these guys to shreds. Which is good. His tanks are tearing my fangs to shreds not ideal. There we go. Nice. Nice. Extra damage. 
increased by 100%. Increased the recruitment cost of Phoenixes, but has weakened the Phoenixes we've already got. Ow! Every four rounds that comes back. Every three rounds that comes back. I think we'll go for that, and we're going to save it for now. We're going to save it for now, and then we'll give it to a unit later on to double its attack. Right, okay. Right, he seems to be investing more into his... I think he actually got more marksmen that round. Yeah, because he's worried about my air, I think. So, I think this round, we... Invest in single target DPS as well. We can upgrade them, we can upgrade them. We can get an extra unit. Another one. Then let's get extra attack. Then we might start thinking about getting actual upgrades for all our unit types after that. Alright, let's see what they do. Anything new? Oh, yeah, I think he got some. Oh, yeah, he did. He got two new units of crawlers. That's what he got. So maybe we want to get more arc lights after this. Yeah, these guys are great at just nuking those crawlers. I feel like these are a subpar unit overall. Unless it comes time to counter crawlers, then they just obliterate. So we're doing a great job at completely hard countering, hard countering the AI right now. Oh. <gasps> Increase the range of all units by 12 permanently. Yes, please. Yes, please. That is insanely good. Right, and then I think we want to double down countering him. These guys, we'll pop them there, there, and then we'll get an extra one. Upgrade these. We probably should unlock something. Maybe them, but if he starts getting them in the side. For later on, we're thinking. And do I want to save that last wee bit, or do I upgrade the armor and my arc lights? You know what? We'll upgrade the armor. Then. What did he get new this time? Ah! He got two arc lights down here. That's what he got. Now, they'll be easy to counter next time with a couple of marksmen. Come on, marksmen, turn around. Shoot! There we go. Now get the other one, please. Don't let it destroy my base. Boom. And then these are going to be so easy to counter next time with a couple of marksmen of my own just in the backfield. We've got extra range, so they'll kill them long before we need to. Oh, we've not even given the extra attack to anyone yet. I've not feel like we needed it. You know what? I think we go for the coup de gras. I think we go for the coup de gras this time. So we're going for the 200 extra supplies, which is going to cost me extra next time. We go for fortresses. Get two of them. And these alone will be 800 points off of them. And they're going to survive to the end. Actually, can I take that off? Damn it. I should have given that one to him because he's more likely to get killed. No, 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 stay there. Right, we've got 100 points. Yeah, let's do that. And then I think that's us win because this army will hopefully be up here. These will absolutely dismantle here. And then that should be over 800 points. I think we kill him right here, right now. Boom, they're dead. Oh, he got himself this there. That's dead, yep. Oh, he got stuff over here. Oh, this... This may have been a really bad choice. I thought we had them. Easy. We've got no AoE stuff left. Oh, but he's got nothing that can attack here. So, oh yeah, he does. He's got that. Oh, 
We definitely don't have enough units left to install a win. Oh, we need to kill these before this guy gets over there. Because if he could steal... Oh, he's going after that. That's good. Wait, that may be bad if he kills that before he gets in range. Oh, good. And oh, this could also be bad if he takes over. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's fine. He's got plenty. It's going to take him longer than that, so. <sighs> Increase the HP of all units. Oh, this is... Yeah, we've won now. We have won well and truly now. So that should be able to nuke him down almost instantly, right? And what'll be good against them? You know what this guy would be. We didn't buy any upgrades this game, really, apart from the arc light guy. Right. Let's see what he does. Oh, that's not good. Well, for next round, that'll be a hard call for you. And that poison's gonna kill him. But yeah, I think we won this quite easy now. Oh yeah, we easily beat him. Easy! Easy peasy lemon squeezy! Alright. We'll do one more. Don't know what this advanced level thing is. That's different from before. To training base, insane difficulty again. Right. So what have we got here? Cost control specialist. That's what the enemy was last time. Start with a left three level three marksman. Start with seventeen percent extra health. Uh, aerial units get ten percent extra range and are free to recruit. You know what? I'm gonna go with the marksman. I normally don't like this one because I feel like it just makes you more powerful at the start, but then it gives you nothing at the end. Whereas this guy, I'm starting to talk myself into this, 17% extra health even is good at the end and the start. So I'm tempted to go back over here, but I never do this one. Ah, oh, look at that health though as well. Yeah, we're going with this guy. Go on with this guy. His starting units are not the greatest either, though that's not bad. That's not bad. These guys, hard counter, these guys, and the missile launchers, should they stand still long enough that the missile launcher should hopefully get them. So for now, I think we're going to unrock crawlers ourselves, but I think I'm just going to double down on arc lights. Now I'm going to do my traditional gung ho at the front strategy. I'm going to put two there. Two there, one there, you there, you there. Let's see what he does. He got himself marksman. Oh, they got the thing where they get more, they get units upgraded for free. Yeah, the ball speed at the front was really bad for me over here. Oh, yeah. Not good. We need sand to counter those guys at first. Yeah, we're getting Ruffle McStompered. Ruffle McStompered. Right, how do we turn this around now? Upgrading crawlers is now free. Well, I think what we do is the crawlers are quite good against them. I think as we do that. Them there beside them, put them there beside them, and do we up their armor or do we go for the I think we'll go for the extra unit this turn. So I'll just get another arc light for here, and then maybe we can do the two crawlers either side next turn. But I want to upgrade the Arc Light's armor to help them tank. Uh, but then again, they just destroy armor that fast, single target it that fast. But these guys, the crawlers, are going to tank for their Arc Light's now. And then the Arc Light's can fire into it. Yeah, this is much better now that I've got the crawlers to soak the initial 
damage. Oh, hello. Hello. They should be easy to counter. Yeah, we've hard countered them there. We turned it around. After that disastrous first round, we turned it around. Again, we got this last time and didn't end up getting anyone with shields. We should pay attention and hopefully we will this time. But anyway, first things first, we need to count out these guys. And then you know what I think we're going to do is I think we're going to increase, we're going to spam out some crawlers. And I think we're going to get that so our crawlers can replenish their numbers. Upgrade this because that'll help them chew through them faster. Now, what's he got this time? Not in that flag. Oh, he's got himself some aerial units. I don't think I've got anything that can attack here. Oh no! Oh! I think he's won from the simple purpose of getting an air unit. From this, that simple perspective. If he can kill us all in time. Now we sit back and we watch him slowly, slowly kill everything. I don't think he's going to be able to kill everything in time, so I think we're still going to... Uh, I'm trying to remember, I think they are 50 points each or 100 points each, so he's going to do a wee bit of damage to me no matter what. But hopefully enough of this will be alive that it's still a net win for us this round. Yeah, there's an upgrade these guys can get that I don't have here. I've got mainly default stuff for most stuff. I changed a couple of things around. But they, I think it's one of their default ones actually. I think I've taken it away and it lets them attack here. Which is why they're looking up as though they can attack here, but yeah, these guys can. I think it's when it gets to 30 seconds it speeds up. Yeah, we're gonna, this is gonna be a net win. He's not tearing through these guys fast enough and these guys are that little in points. There we go. Yeah, 200 health he took off me. We took a lot more off of him. Now we need something that's good against AR. Do we go after our own Phoenixes? I think maybe we do. Maybe we do. What else can attack here? There's these guys to get a specific anti-air upgrade. They might be better, but I'm thinking what counters the rest of his army at the same time. So what's good against air and him? Which is why I thought Phoenix is, because they'll be good at dealing damage to the balls, whereas these guys won't be. And I've got enough to counter these guys. Could go after. These guys would have the benefit of being aired as well, which he does have some stuff that can attack here. Yeah. That'd be too expensive to go after for now. Yeah. Give this one that attack upgrade. Oh yeah, I forgot these guys are free to upgrade because we got that upgrade earlier. Nice. Oh, maybe we should have got some of the upgrade stuff here. Oh well, live and learn. Oh good, he's doubling down on useless stuff here. Now it's going to make more crawlers for me in the long run. These need to stay alive to kill his air. Good, here it comes, boom, boom, jobs the gun. Jobs a gun, jobs done. Happy days, we absolutely nuked them. 
Right, it's definitely coup de gras time. That's pointless because it's coup de gras time. Just gonna skip. We're gonna go like so. We're gonna go like so. So we're gonna get three units. Just to make sure his air doesn't get us. You there. Give these guys shields to help protect them. These guys are all upgraded for free. I'm guessing use them an upgrade as well. Right, what else would be useful right now? Attack, defense for everyone. That's a need. That's us. Did we get anything over here? No. These guys all have shields, that's fine. Fine, did Leanne defend it? And victory! Sweet, sweet victory. I think we'll do one more. But I'm gonna try and do something silly. I'm gonna try and squeeze in a unique unit in there. So you know what? Let's go out to giant specialist. And we're just we're gonna see what's they got, right? Okay, that's kinda good. That's perfect. We perfectly counter them. So I think at this point we just double down on the arc lights and we unlock them. We're gonna try something. I don't know, I just wanna be as silly as possible. I was thinking maybe the. I can't show you them now, but those tripod type things that convert enemy units. But he's went for numbers, so maybe I do go after them. But what we do is we get the upgrade where it lets it do five units at once. We'll see. What did he buy with his unique money? Ah, oh, just more crawlers! Perfect! We completely hard countered up here. So yeah, I think we go, do go after them. Because we hard counter them so hard here as well. Yeah, as you see, we absolutely just obliterated them. On all fronts. That'll be useful later. We're not even going to be able to afford one of them. Oh, we can afford one. Again, this is really bad, but we're doing it. We're going to get it and pop it there. And then we can give it the extra range. We're going to be silly and we're going to go after these guys this game. You see, you can see right now, he's basically worthless. He's giving us these guys now, that's not too bad. But we hard countered them so badly already, we can afford to be sillier. Right. We're gonna get that, and we're gonna give that upgrade to this guy, which we're gonna put over here. of the hackers are just for 25 meters but I can launch five control beams each beam is 17% in the original yeah so it should be able to take over like five crawlers at a time kind of thing at that point yeah we'll go after that Good. so yeah we're being silly this round and hitting the flanks nope that's handy that's handy I wouldn't be surprised if we lose this round though because of how silly we're being. Though these guys are actually starting to really kick butt. Okay, our, we're nearly out of our luck from the start. I'd really want to get these guys more range. It's going to be expensive though. Oh, 
Oh. We just got to, don't we? Bim, 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 bim! Call this the Wololo build, won't we? Yeah, we'll call it Wololo. If you don't get that reference, you're too young. Right, yeah. Let's go after attack, because I'm pretty sure attack will give these guys, which is why we gave that guy one, their, their faster control. Then next turn, if we're still, if we don't just nuke them this turn, next turn we're going to go after the extra range for them then maybe we'll go after the force fields for them we're just gonna we just want to spam these guys at this point we're just being silly now luckily for us he's really doubling down on the crawlers which we really, really hard counter What's the upgrade? He's got them. They immediately recover their maximum HP. That's not. Oh no! The tables are turning! His ones are good against mine! <laughs> it's the battle! The Wololo! The water Wololo! No, don't win! I was having fun with Wololo! No, Wololo! Right. I lo 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 Ah, we'll call that a part. Hope you've all enjoyed it. I want more wo We went after the giant person, so we could go after giants, and we spent the whole time just spamming wo lo Hey, I'll see you all next time. Bye-zy-bye. -bye. <laughs>